Eric here with a just a quick tip on Quicksilver and keyboard shortcuts and automoting workflows. So this has to do with my Gmail signature, right? Which um, Gmail doesn't allow you to have multiple signatures for one email address, but sometimes you want to have a formal signature and an informal signature, maybe even more than that, maybe you have lots of signatures you want to use. And the only workaround I've found for this is I actually have my signature in a public Dropbox file, which I have bookmarked in my browser. So what I have to do is open up a new tab, start typing in the name of the bookmark, and then I go to that, and then I Command A, Command C, uh, select it all, copy it, and then paste that right over my usual signature. So that is just too many steps. There's got to be a better way to do the same thing and I think that way is with Quicksilver triggers. So let me show you the cool new way of doing this basically. So <clears throat> um, what I'm going to do is bring up Quicksilver which I do with uh, command space shift. A lot of people just overwrite um, spotlight which is command space, but I still use Spotlight for some things, so I like to stick with my slightly more verbose um, keyboard shortcut. And then I'm going to go command comma, which is the preferences in any Mac OS application, so that's a handy shortcut to command comma. Inside Quicksilver, I'm going to go to my triggers, and then I'm going to add a new trigger and it's going to be a hotkey which basically just means a keyboard shortcut type trigger and Quicksilver basically you perform actions on items um, the item in this case is going to be my signature that HTML data and what I'm going to do is copy to clipboard Quicksilver super smart I just typed in copy and it suggested that and I will save that but there's no trigger for it right now, so over in this right-hand column, double-click on that, and let's set some hotkeys. So I usually, in Mac OS, I'm using stuff like Option, Shift, and then a letter, um, because that doesn't tend to overwrite keyboard shortcuts. You can also scope things. You can say, just enable it in a few selected applications, so that can be very handy. I could just enable this in my internet browser, since that's where I use it, for instance. Um, but I'm just going to stick with my usual old command option S. Okay, so now I have that all set, ready to go. And I'll close out Quicksilver. And just to convince you that I don't have anything copied here, uh, I'll copy some random text, paste that, see, nothing, nothing good on the clipboard. And I do my shortcut, and then I do paste, and there's my email signature. So if there's little pieces of text that you want to paste over and over again, that's certainly one use. Triggers are really a lot more powerful than that. But basically, I would say if you're encountering annoying workflows, definitely investigate a way to automate those. And Quicksilver is one incredibly adaptable way to do that.